What's up everybody, John Hillbrand here. Last week, I went to West Elm in Scottsdale, met with my designer. You can see that video here. Are you gonna go right, right here? Okay, yep, I guess right here. Uh, now she's coming out to my house. We're gonna walk the whole entire house, see some fabrics. You wanna come with us? Let's go see. Welcome, welcome! Hello, how are you? <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you the house. Show me around, yeah. All right, let's go check it out. <laughs> so yeah, let me show you around. I think we'll start on this side of the house and then we'll work our way this way. Okay. So nothing too big here. It's just a washer and dryer area, okay. but a great space. Alrighty. Yeah, don't mind the mess. I love the rugs. Oh, you do? All oh, okay. Rugs. Sweet, That's sweet. That's what I use for my inspiration. Oh, sweet. Yeah. I'm glad. So this wall is going to be, yeah, so this top thing is going to be filled in okay. and it's kind of going to be a little bit changed where the TV is going to be actually in the wall. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's a lot cleaner and yep. built in. More modern. And then it might have to end up coming this way a little bit because of the other side. So okay. just keep that in mind. Um, to center it too, right? Yeah. A little bit more. Yeah. Because it's kind of the whole feng shui is a little, yeah. a little weird. Here is where I was telling you where we can go do measurements and stuff. So 5.30? Yep. 5.45? Okay. Sun is like, good morning! Yeah, really? yeah it's oh, crazy, like God. blast through. So that's kind of what I was thinking, like maybe a big rod. Okay. Maybe from the ceiling all the way down? Probably to add height, we would yeah. go all the way up. Um, is cool. it 10 feet? 11? I think it's 10. Um, it looks like I'm going to take a measure. I'm going to take a measure. Dun, 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 dun. I can't remember. I measured all. I like that the ceilings are tall, though. Yeah. Um, 158. Okay. So at least 162, maybe, right? Yeah. Okay. I'll or another thing is that, like, here you could do something totally different and just do two on the side without it having running all the way. I thought about that, too. We're just having one and two. Yeah. Okay. I think this wall is where we can have some fun with it in the master. Yeah. Do some nice. Yeah. Part of me was thinking, like, I just put these electrical outlets there finally, mm -hmm. but maybe it's like the shipboard or wallpaper or just a beautiful paint with a good the texture. It would be nice. Right? So okay. It's trendy here in Arizona to do like the ombre walls. Oh, oh, sure. oh, sure, man. Okay, oh, sweet. Means. Okay, yeah. But they basically do like, you know, terracotta colors at the bottom and then oh, wow. it fades oh. out. That sounds cool. It could be a cool thing. It's trendy. Yeah, that sounds cool. I'll just send you something. Okay. <laughs> we'll just do like a, so. we're just doing a quick tour mm -hmm. first. Yeah. I would think the bump is cool. Yep. Plenty. The bunk beds did, I triple check the measurements oh. and it will work and you'll still have a little bit of something in the set if you needed something. Wow. So if it's. You and this is with the queen? A full, possible, sorry. Or full. Full and then twin on top. Yeah, queen probably wouldn't work in here, huh? Yeah. 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 But okay. full sleeps too. Yep. Sleeps Easy. too. Yeah, yeah. okay. Because the queen was like, like really close to the door when I put it on the floor. Plan. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I don't know how you can do that. The floor was. Okay. The better size. Okay. All right, you ready to see the right. kitchen? Yeah. Kitchen. The kitchen, obviously, phase two also, but that's why I'm kind of going off the furniture too. Like I would replace this. Yep. I want to extend it. I think it to be I mean, huge. That way you can do three and then two more chairs here. Okay. And we have two tables. Yeah. And then here it would, you would do that table, yeah? Yeah, I'll send you a picture of it. I forgot to send that to you, but it's a pretty big table. Where you can see 12 people for sure. Wow. Yeah. yeah. See, I think out here that's going to be super important. I think people are going to have big family dinners. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know that's those things start to get kind of crazy expensive everywhere, mm -hmm. but they make and break a house, I feel like. Yeah. I think maybe chandelier would be better. The ones up? Chandelier. Oh, I'm down for that, okay. for sure, yeah. I don't think you need a fan right there. Okay. And I definitely don't need a fan right there. No. <laughs> Not only that, these blades hit the lights, 
So it feels like you're about to have a seizure. Oh, no. <laughs> but I don't know if you would just take that out completely and just patch it, or would you put something cool that kind of hangs? Um, if you wanted to do pendants, we could, but I feel like you have enough lighting. I know, me no, too. I don't really need it. Especially if this is going to be the main bam. Yeah, if anything, I should take it down and just patch yeah. it. Okay. And this room is obviously where everyone will be. I love that it's extremely open. And then you got the open concept of the kitchen. Yeah. The fact they did that with this old style house is mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah, you hardly see those in older homes. Yeah. It, this whole TV situation, mm -hmm. this is gonna be moved here a little higher and then I'm gonna put an electrical oh, fireplace, fireplace here. Yep. Okay. That's why that wall on that side might have to be reconfigured so this Makes okay. sense. And this will also be built in, like framed okay. out. That look okay. way more modern. Perfect. Because um, on that, so if you, this is how it is right now. So the view is that way. That way oh, you could yeah. have a nice view. And then if people oh, really wanted to see. Way. And then an extra chair if you oh, need yeah. extra seating. I, I feel like we do. <laughs> All right, let's check out the outdoor patio. Of course, they had to put some string lights in right away. Okay. So I didn't really show this to before because one yeah. of my ideas was I was just gonna build, and I can show you some of the pictures, Yep. but I was gonna build like this huge L kind of couch. Feeding yeah. Sofa area. Okay. And then one of my ideas was cut a hole in here mm -hmm. and build one of those fire pits that can go through here. Oh, you know what yeah. I mean? That would be a nice architectural Yeah, it would look future. really cool. And I think yeah. be the Instagram moment where people mm. come out here. Yeah. But now that I've seen more of you guys' outdoor furniture, it makes me think, why not just do some really great furniture? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I know we have really, really long sofas that you can build your own. Yeah. So we'll need to know the measurement of that wall. Right okay, here. I have that for you oh, too. Okay. Yep. Uh -huh. So yeah, I was thinking that and then here, I was maybe because this is off the master, uh -huh. so I was kind of thinking maybe having you know a couple chairs, a lounge mm -hmm. chairs, or something like that where more they relaxed. can come, yeah more relaxed. Yeah. Okay. So this obviously was a garage. Yep. Right. The floors I'm probably just gonna polish so that they, they're the same. They're just really dirty. Okay. I thought about tiling right. here, but. I'm not 100% sure yet. Okay. I'll show you some. But here we would close this wall off so it's more private. The and door then would be here. The door would be here, yeah. Okay. Because of the feng shui of the furniture. If yep. I put the door that way, it throws this whole entire room yeah. off. Yeah, it's nice here where you had it already. Yeah. yeah. So then the TV is going to go here, okay. built in. Hmm. Possibly built in electric fireplace to set a vibe. And then from here, to here is going to open up and I'll show you the other side. Okay. This will be a, a big sliding window. This is where that round table, hopefully. Mm -hmm. This will go out to a patio, um, barbecue, hopefully a little hot tub, like seating area. That's going to have to be, be moved, but then I believe it's going to be a kitchenette, okay. but a ni nice kitchenette because it's going to have the sink, a little window, okay. uh -huh. dishwasher, I believe. And then just like corner space, we can do some fun. Mm -hmm. And then uh, stove, microwave, stackable washer and or refrigerator, yep. stackable washer and dryer. And then the door. And then door's gonna move all the way here. And then the closets, this side's gonna be built out this way. Okay. Perfect. Um, so I'm hoping the bed's gonna go this way. That way. Because if we put it there, yeah. imagine yourself coming in through here. If you put it on that wall, yes, you won't have room for nightstands, but it's a better layout to put it on that okay. wall. Okay, that, that, that's why I love having you here. Because I thought about this, and then what I could do with this window is just bring it up. So, yeah. so you don't want the bed frame to hit right here, Correct. and this window's low. Yeah. So I can bring this up higher. That's easy. Yeah. Yep. Well, easy-ish. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that walkthrough. I really got to spend a lot of time with the designer. Make sure the furniture is going to work in each room. We're going to make a couple changes. Super excited. If you haven't seen the walkthrough episode one at West Elm, pop up right here. You can watch that link. 
a lot more to come. Next week, what I'm gonna do is go through the budget so you guys have a better understanding of what it costs to do all of this and links to everything that I'm getting. So tune in, see you then, later.